अखबार इंडिया न्यूज आर द बेस्ट डिफेंस इज अ गुड ऑफेंस 2020 can easily be penciled as the most interesting year of the decade or even the century particularly because of the covid-19 much has been said about its still going on aftermath from the skyrocketing use of the internet the migration of daily activities towards the online world from the physical world to be safe the continuous work from home setup and more as experts say the best defense is a good offense we have to keep in mind that your approach to cyber security should be tailored to the size industry location and type of operations specific to your organization especially as it relates to newly adopted remote working models or investments in cloud based technologies to protect your smb follow these four steps to start building a cyber security strategy to withstand inevitable cyber attacks such as phishing business email compromise that is bec malware and ransomware Secondly we have to make it a priority to protect your data for the benefit of your employees and customers and the long term health of your business hackers have no prejudice there are typically two types of hackers black hat hackers who earn money by doing illegal activities just to create chaos or to cause harm or panic whereas the white hat hackers or ethical hackers employ the same hacking techniques as black hat hackers but they do it with the system owner's permission and stick to legal methods these criminals will invade your organization regardless of its size prominence or location with their sophisticated tools The soft targets of attack are the growing SMBs and they are under attack as never before. SMBs need to go on the offense by taking stock of their current cyber security capabilities, conducting a cyber hygiene review, creating a strategic road map and investing in a cyber security insurance policy. One door left unlocked is enough to result in significant financial losses. Let's look into today's headlines in War India. NTT Group commits 10 million dollar towards COVID-19 relief in India. NTT Limited has announced a donation of 3 million dollars to support COVID-19 relief operations in India, increasing the total commitment by the Japan-based group to 10 million dollars. The donations will support local hospitals and healthcare providers, increase access and transportation of care facilities and boost vaccination efforts in the virus-stricken nation. The funds have been committed to provide oxygen, medical supplies, ambulances, hospital beds and equipments. Incentive scheme in 6 months for setting up of fabless display units. Ajay Prakash Sahni, IT Secretary, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology said the government has received interest from top global and Indian players to set up a fabless display manufacturing plant in India and is likely to bring an incentive scheme for attracting 3 to 4 large such investments within the next 6 months a top official said. Both international and major Indian entities have come forward to express interest of various kinds and we are hopeful that we would be able to take this process forward he said. Nordic Semiconductor has no knowledge of any ST micro interest. Nordic sells wireless chips and devices designed for ultra low power consumption which are used in a wide variety of electronics and computers but does not itself manufacture the silicon wafers used in the products. In a release ST Micro is considering to bid for Nordic Semiconductor. Nordic Semiconductor's chief financial officer said they had no knowledge of any takeover interest from Franco-Italian chipmaker ST Micro Electronics after a report published in the Italian newspaper MF There is double digit growth in the Cisco's security segment and Webex offerings. Cisco Systems has seen growth across all its businesses including its infrastructure segment which bounced back as enterprises prioritized return to office transformations and hybrid work. Cisco now has one of the largest software businesses in the industry with an annual run rate business of north of 14 billion dollars in software revenue said Cisco chairman and CEO Chuck Robbins. It further states during Q3 2021 which ended May 1st the tech giant achieved 3.8 billion dollars in software revenue. Software subscriptions accounted for 81% of its total software revenue up subsequently from Q2 2021's result of 76% as interest in subscription based solutions grew Airtel warns on the growing cyber frauds amid a massive surge in online transactions 
Airtel CEO Gopal Vittal has warned the Airtel subscribers on the massive increase in the cyber frauds amid a massive surge in online transactions during the second wave of the pandemic and asserted the company is working relentlessly and coming out with safety features to ensure customers are not vulnerable to fraudsters. In an email outreach to customers, Vittal highlighted the modus operandi being adopted by fraudsters and also drew attention to cyber frauds related to digital payments. That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. Stay tuned. Thank you.